Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Premium Disc Battle, and we are beating the crap out of Dark Soul! And... The sad part is, we're not really all that concerned about it either. We're just keeping our force to the outskirts. Throwing out damage while we can. Median seems to be in the best place ever. Ha! We're gonna cast Aura 4 again, because why not? Symbios has taken damage. And I wanna I want to go through all of my MP before I start going through all of the items. Cause why not? So yeah, this is this is definitely a waste of aura, but I don't care. I just I don't care anymore. We have reached the end of the line. We've got more than enough items to make this battle completely self-sufficient. And as long as I do, what, 60 points of damage a turn? As long as I do over 60 points of damage a turn, uh, he can't outlast me. Hey, Blizzard Breath! We haven't seen that one. Okay, that's... eh? And slow war off. So sad. Hey, you use Blizzard Breath? Let's warm you up a bit. Nice, you know, fire blast to the gut. Slow war off. We're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Let's see. I wanna see if that... His base defense was what? 70? What is his defense after slow? 60, okay. Yeah. This is just gonna make the fight take forever, though. Like, I, I kinda don't wanna do this because of it just healing one person, but... Because it does make the fight take considerably longer. But I'm... I'm not... I'm not skimping on this fight. I'm not gonna hold back needlessly. I mean, that's, that's a big... That's a big thing in role-playing games, isn't it? You're like, I don't want to use these items because I don't know if I'm ever gonna get them back. Like, I don't... I may need them more in the future than I need them now. Alright, we're gonna move you back one. But I, I remember doing that when I played games... when I played, like, Chrono Trigger for the first time. I didn't want to use my MP restoring items because I was never sure when I was gonna get them back. And then I started playing... Uh, Shining Force, and you don't get... Shining Force 2, you get, like, a goddess tier. That's about it. So, like, restoring MP? Not gonna happen. I mean, granted, the types of games are completely different. And MP management is one of those things that in a, a tactical RPG you have to pay a lot more attention to. Alright, I can move you back there and cast Heal 3. I'm gonna do that. I mean, again, it's kind of silly to burn through all of my MP when I only need to heal one person, so... I am probably going to use a Hope Light here in a minute. Just so I can get Bridget back in the game. I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take any unnecessary risks, though. Just because I am... I'm really scared of chaos. Or not chaos, uh, confused. I love how the, the charge is in his hand. Like... The charge effect takes over his hand. That just seems very silly to me, doesn't it? And I will shoot you with lasers! And yeah, Frodon's running low on MP! It's so- he's so big that the entire battlefield is not covered in the lava effect. Alright, I should... Yeah, I'm probably gonna have... Aura... who's... Do you have a Hope Light? No, you just have a Goddess Tear. Who has a Hope Light? Hayward's got a Hope Light! Symbios? Grace doesn't. That's... You don't have... Insane luck. I knew I should have given it to my people who... We're not going to be primary attackers. Oh well. You've got one, so you're gonna use it. Everybody gets MP! No effect on Symbios. No effect on Hayward. Julian and Median don't have... Khan gets 10 MP back, Marsami gets 9. 61 MP for Hidoba. 18 Gracia. 88 for Bridget. Yeah, it takes up a an attack, but it means I can keep attacking with everyone else. So sixty-four. Yeah, I mean that's about where we're gonna be at for damage for her. And notice how he's pretty much got all of his MP back because he hasn't been using MP spells. Uh, is there anyone hurt? A couple of people hurt, but not terribly. I'll wait. No sense, again, no sense in going getting stupid, I mean... There's a difference between going all out and being stupid. And I don't want to cross that line. At least, not yet. When I know I can beat him, I'll, I'll cross that <laughs> line. Because <laughs> I've taken... I don't really take a lot of risks playing this game. I've gotten a couple of comments about that. Some people say that you, you do... that I play com considerably differently than they do, which is... No two people are ever going to play a tactics RPG like this the same. This is not going to happen. And now is when I throw out an arm. But it's it's really interesting because people like you play. I get I've gotten comments on both sides of the fence. Either you play more conservatively than I do, or you play more recklessly than I do. And I'm like I really I kind of want to meet the people who play more conservatively than I do because that's I think I play pretty conservatively. And I've seen people play more recklessly than I have. I watched LP in China Force 2 uh, as I was doing mine. And, like, I, I forget who, who did it, and it wasn't a bad LP by any means, but just the number of deaths of characters that he had that should not have died was just astounding to me. Like, he would literally throw one person into a group of four 
on the off chance that he could take out one and make it one versus three instead of one versus four. Sometimes it worked out in his favor, other times it, it really didn't, but he would, he would lose that one person. But in between fights, he would go back to town, resurrect everyone. His death totals were just insane. It looked like Mike uh, killed the death ratios in TF2, which is sad. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm not great at TF2. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. But, like, he had double digit deaths for several of his characters, which I think was just. That's not strategic. That's just dangerous. Because I think about situations like this where you get into a fight and you can't aggress without having to go through so much. Like in Shining Force 2. The, you've got the odd eye fight, and then you've got the gom fight, and then you've got the. Well, that you've actually got fights in between those, but the the gom fight and the the Zeon fight are back to back. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you aggress, you have to do both fights together because that's part of the part of the the difficulty of that is you have to be able to do both fights together. You have to be able to to plan out, okay, this is what's going to happen, this is how it's going to happen. But, like, I, I would not be able to fight that recklessly in a fight like this, because if I lose any of my heroes, I'm dead. I've lost the fight. If I aggress, I have to start all the way back at the beginning. And some of these fights, while they don't seem all that de devastating, it, it, was, it was a bit of a stretch to, to do that with as little difficulty as I had. I really should have paid more attention to the Xeon fight, because I knew he had a poison ability. And I, I should have gone through more with... I probably shouldn't have Spiriel, I probably shouldn't have Proton. They were very useful in the early fights when I had multiple people to go against. Like, all of the Rainbloods, all of the, uh... All of the High Priests... Or the bosses that had other people, like the the Ion Secondary Heads, the Dark Dragon Secondary Heads. Those, I had a little more reason to want to bring a... More melee, because I would that was more useful. Now, Spiral's kind of useless. Proton's barely useful, but it's... It is what it is, so... I, I just, I don't... I, I'm very surprised seeing so many different playstyles of it, and getting comments on the playstyle of it. It's like, I just, I can't imagine either being more cautious or more reckless than I'm, I'm currently being, and it's just... That's an interesting concept to me, if this is where I've hit. That was odd, that had a multiple hit sound effect. Was the game just kind of stubborn then. And of course he's recovering a ton of HP and MP a turn, but we're doing just as much damage to him. Pretty much she is keeping his regeneration in check, because she's doing over 60 points of damage, so as long as I can keep attacking with her, everyone else is pretty much golden. And she's gonna level up off that, so she had 99 XP right off that. That was, or right before that. That was, that's always hilarious to me. And Mirage Dance. Mirage Dance is also one of my favorite specials. It and Centurion definitely rank up there. Ice Arrow is also pretty cool. Hundred and twenty-five 
22 damage. Attack's probably gonna wear off on him. That hasn't already. Alright, I need to recast attack with Bridget. I probably need to cast Aura again. I think I skipped over Gracia's turn. But it's fine. And he's still got slow on him, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw up Blaze. And yay, friendships. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to cast Aura again. I've got several people who've been nickel and dime. Granted, as long as he keeps doing stupid stuff like that, I'm not terribly worried about it. We're gonna attack the person who has a ridiculously high lightning defense because of an item that she's got. 159 damage. Well done. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cast Aura 4 again. Again, with, with the items that you've got at this point, unless you throw just a hero out there and have him focus solely on that hero, I really think it's almost impossible to lose this fight. As long as you've got the high enough lock on your characters to be resistant to the status effects, it's it's a, a waiting game. Alright, what are you doing? Are you doing chaos? Alright, you're targeting her with chaos? Why the sudden hatred for Hidoka? I don't I don't get that. I guess I it got pointed out to him that I was doing enough damage with Hidoka to keep the rest of my force just beating the crap out of him. As long as he doesn't hit Hadoba with Confuse 3, it's not not an issue. Stop it. Sorry, yelling at my computer. It keeps wanting to go into screensaver mode because I'm not doing anything with it. I really should pay more attention to that. But... Turn off screensaver when I'm recording or something like that. And I haven't really been using my hero's magic abilities, I've just been focusing on melee attacks with them. That's because their melee attacks are going to do a considerable amount of damage. Especially when they do something like Centurion. For 125 points of damage. Yeah, why not? Gracie has felt kind of left out. He's, he feels like he's not involved enough. And Hayward now has friendship with Proton, which means an attack bonus there. And Ice Arrow. I, I really have no idea how much damage I've done to him, how much he's gotten back. This is just... This is crazy. I just... 7,000 HP, it seems. And Hayward now views as trusted. Spark? Yeah, Spark. As long as he doesn't confuse us, I don't care. And slow war off. Gonna fix that. Every little bit helps. That 10 less defense. 
plus the attack bonus we get from the attack spell. Alright, now you're just being a dick. Oh, crap. That may have hit Bridget. Nope. Oh, thank god. Whew. And slow war off again? Really? Your slow sucks, Proton. And 69 damage. Not great, but not bad. And I really should end this episode, but I keep I keep wanting to beat the crap out of him. 102 points of damage. I'm gonna make this one go just a little bit longer, just maybe a minute or two. Just because, again, I have no idea how much damage he's got. And freeze! Alright, after this, I'll go ahead and end this episode. It's... If I can't. I mean. I've been fighting him for almost 20 minutes now. Uh, one more hit won't kill me. I say that. But one more hit, he's going to block it, so... I want to get another hit in. Like, another damaging hit. Whoa! 95 damage. Alright, now we'll go ahead and end this one here. So I'll see you guys in the next installment, where hopefully in the next 20 minutes, I can beat the crap out of Dark Soul. So yeah, till then, later everyone.